Hello, my name is Jacqueline Richmond. The 1930s was a trying time for our nation. We had just had the great stock market crash of 1929. So the 1930s was consumed by economic downfall and the Great Depression. There were various disasters that rocked the, our nation in the 1930s, including the Hindenburg, the SS Moro Castle cruise ship fire, and the Ohio State Penitentiary fire. The Hindenburg, as told by airships.net, was a airship, also known as a Zeppelin, that was carrying 36 passengers and 61 crew members, trainees, and officers. This was the Hindenburg's 63rd flight. On May 3, 1937, the ship left from Frankfurt Airfield and followed a northern track across the ocean, passing Greenland and crossing the American coast at Newfoundland. The ship finally ended up at the Naval Air Station at Lake Hurst, New Jersey. When the ship arrived, the captain delayed landing due to poor weather conditions. After several hours, they finally decided to land. After several minutes, they decided to finally drop their landing line. While trying to secure their landing line, a fire sparked and the passengers started jumping out of the windows. Luckily, those passengers survived. Within less than a minute, the whole ship was engulfed, and the cause of the fire was determined to be a spark that ignited leaking hydrogen on the ship. This disaster killed 36 passengers and one ground crewman. Due to this disastrous event, that is the last Hindenburg to ever fly. The SS Morrow Castle was a luxury cruise ship, as told by cultofweird.com. It is named after the Morrow Castle Fortress, that guards the entrance to Havana Bay. The cruise ship was launched in 1930. The ship's final journey began on September 5, 1934. On September 7, the captain was complaining of stomach problems and after his dinner. Shortly after, he died of a heart attack. On September 8, a fire was found in a storage locker in the first-class riding room. Within 30 minutes, the whole ship was engulfed by burning through the power cables. Passengers and crew began to abandon ship. Only six of the ship's 12 lifeboats were being used. The main cause of death among escaping passengers was their lack of knowledge about how to use the life preservers. 135 passengers and crewmen died out of 549. The cause of the fire was never determined and the ship was determined a total loss. The Ohio State Penitentiary was built in Columbus, Ohio in 1834. According to History.com, this prison had always had poor conditions. It was built to house up to 1,500 prisoners. However, at the time of the fire in 1930, there were over 4,300 4, prisoners being held there. At the time of the fire, construction crews were working on an expansion of the prison and scaffolding was set up on one side of the jail. On the night of April 21, 1930, a fire broke out on the scaffolding. The cell block next to the construction where the fire was at held up to 800 prisoners. They began begging to be set free. However, guards said no, and they even put more prisoners in. Soon, two prisoners attacked a guard and took his keys and began releasing other prisoners. However, a riot broke out causing firefighters not to be able to get in and help the remaining prisoners. 320 people died and 130 people were severely injured. The disaster led to the repeal of laws on minimal sentencing that had caused so much overcrowding in the first place. In 1931, the Ohio Parole Board was established, and within the next year, over 2,300 prisoners were set out on parole. These disasters helped shape our nation and helped us to prevent not ever having these disasters to happen again. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed my speech.